I have a question for the ladies. It's a very simple question. The question is this. Ladies, please tell me what is the point of the cushion? <laughs> and then you know what I'm talking about. Don't pretend you don't. What is the point of the cushion? You're looking at me, I can see these feminine faces looking all faux confused, as if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know. Some of the men here who clearly don't know, I'll explain to you, okay? I'll explain. That is a picture of my bed, ladies and gentlemen. That is where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, card tricks mainly. But that... That is what my bed looked like when I was single. But this is what my bed looks like now. I'm married now, that's what my bed looks like. That is the difference there, before, after. It's very simple. It's not exactly page 97 in Take a Break magazine spot the difference competition, is it? No. It's the cushion. It's clearly the cushion. This particular cushion has never once, not once in its life, ever been sat on. This cushion has never once, not ever, made anyone's life more comfortable. It has never done any of the things that cushions were brought into this world so to do. What happens with this cushion is we put it on the bed when we leave the room in the morning, and then when we come back in to go to bed, we take the cushion off the bed, and there's nowhere else for it to go, so we put it on the floor. <laughs> we've got a cushion that is like a very antisocial cat. <laughs> Sleeps on our bed all day when we're not there, and then when we come in, it disappears. It's like owning a cat without any of the negative side of owning a cat, and without any of the positive side of owning a cat. <laughs> it's a completely pointless exercise. I don't know what it's for. I've said to Mrs Gorman, why do you have this cushion? What is it for? And she said, well, because it looks nice. Does it? Do you think it looks nicest when it's on the floor and you can't see it because you're in bed? Or do you think it looks nicest when it's on the bed and you can't see it because you're not there? <laughs> and Mrs Gorman just doesn't understand why I don't get it. So to help her get it, to try and explain my case, what I've started doing is keeping a hat on the toilet. <laughs> um, that's, that's where it lives. And the first time she saw that, she was like, well, what's that doing there? And I said, that's where I'm keeping it. <laughs> I think it looks nice. And she said, but it gets in the way when you want to use the toilet, you've got to put it on the floor. <laughs> I said, no, you don't, not at all. That is my shitting hat. <laughs> that is the hat I wear when I'm on the toilet. There I am, where is it there? That is my shitting hat, thank you very much. And she said, this is embarrassing. People are going to come round, they're going to see this when they come to the house. If they use the loo, they're going to see it, they're going to ask questions. I said, that makes it better than the cushion then, doesn't it? <laughs> because people don't see the cushion. Nobody who visits our house pops into our bedroom for no reason whatsoever, do they? But they do visit the loo. That makes the hat more decorative than the cushion. That gives it more purpose. She said, yeah, but it's weird. <laughs> people have cushions that look nice. That's normal. People don't have shitting hats. <laughs> I said, they do, actually. They do. She said, name one person who's got a shitting hat. I said, I will. Her name is Natasha Litton. She said, who's that? I said, I haven't got a clue, but she's on Twitter, and as you can see, she's left her shitting hat in Waterloo. <laughs> I think you'll find... I'm not alone. Other people have shitting hats. And if this TV show serves any purpose... Please, please, please let it be this. If you find Natasha Litton's shitting hat, please, please, please get in touch.